Our Com new compact. Nice. The whitest now it will ever up. be. <laughs> I'm saying, count your days. Because this. Our old mop situation. This. You can't compete when you can't compare. Yeah, we got There's a foot pedal. Good afternoon. Pedal. It is Friday the 3rd, 3-12. Um, we started cleaning because we once again have company coming. Um, Winter is coming. I, here's what the, the dough is looking like right now. It's pretty thick. Uh, I think I'm still going to leave it like this and put the little towel over it and see if Hello. it... Proofs. What is the thought? Lord have mercy. Hopefully they find a way to get into it. It's been cleaning. Finally putting away our Christmas decor. Christmas! You don't have to stay up there while I do this. Buenos dias! Don't look at my messy room. It is Sunday. What's today's date? February. February 4th. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm starting off today with making my girlfriend some kimchi jjigae and showing y'all my cats because I love them. And uh, we already cleaned like all day yesterday, so it's really clean in here. I have yoga class today. And I'm gonna give myself a little makeover with my hair today. So that's what you have to look forward to. Soup, I think I hair, like this little cat, yoga, cat. This little cat. <laughs> I said I need to have water and then add the starter to that. So I'm gonna start there. Hmm. I'm probably gonna have to use this dish. video where I turned my basement into a cute little art studio situation and then I've also got my clippers here that I got from like TJ Marshalls to do my hair today so I have a small issue because as I continue to watch the video I found out in 30 minutes I have to go do my first stretch and fold of the dough and then I'm supposed to let it rest again and then I'm supposed to come back in another 30 minutes and do the same thing again I just hope that this all kind of doesn't get in the way of my yoga class at 6.30 because I'm sitting here thinking like, if I have to do this every 30 minutes, it's going to be difficult to be gone for an hour. But hey, it, if it misses one little time mark, I guess it'll be fine and I'll just have to do the tuck and fold again when I get back. So I'm, once again, I'm people who make bread praise you because I promise you this is like my fifth failed attempt and I know now that making bread is no joke and I feel like there's like this idea that it's easy like when people are like oh I got so into making bread during the pandemic or like I got so into what what no those people must have a bread maker because I know in the bread maker you just gotta pour the ingredients in there or maybe they're just straight up using yeast but sourdough making the starter took a week making this bread has taken me like a week and this is my second starter and this is like my second time trying to make it rise and all it, it's just a lot the point is if you decide to take on bread as a hobby just know it is not like a cute little baking thing like making cookies make the cookies instead <laughs> Oh, 
Here's the the fit. Ooh. <laughs> I just wanted to let y'all know I had a really good time. The lighting in here is garbaggio. All right, that's a little better. Um, basically, this class was late at night, so it was a restorative yoga class, and I didn't really know what to expect. I knew it was going to be like slower. But I thought it would be a bit more like yin yoga, which is slow, but still has a lot of poses or moves. And I didn't feel like there was that many moves. Like there was maybe six or seven or something like that. And it was an hour and a half. So it was a really slow pace. Her voice was really calming. She had sound bowls going. It was very meditative, I feel like. It definitely led me to reflect a lot. Even though I, I was trying to not think so much, I kind of also let the thoughts come through. I just like kind of saw me visualizing my life and just all the joy and happiness that I'm gonna have with my partner, with my future children. And I know that seems so far off, but like that's kind of just what was coming up for me. And after that, I just started feeling grateful. So I just kind of was giving myself some gratitude and affirmations in my head about how amazing things have been in my life right now. Like, honestly, I, I just feel so blessed to have the time to go to these classes, the energy to go to these classes. Like, I'm, I'm grateful that my partner can be there. I'm grateful that, you know, we get to experience it together. I just everything everything just feels great and you know even just the fact that i get to set up my own schedule and decide what i want to do and when i want to do it it just makes me feel like so blessed so i i'm really enjoying my freedom i'm really grateful for my freedom and you know watching a vlog that i was editing from this summer i was talking about how i couldn't wait to be free how i couldn't wait to be a bum how i couldn't wait to be done with school and seeing myself sitting in that manifestation now i'm just like wow like this is this is so great this is exactly what i wanted and even though i'm still visualizing things further down the road of what i want i'm still happy that i was able to manifest the reality that i'm currently in based on how i was feeling then because that sierra she she needed this deep rest she needed this deep recovery especially after so much burnout so i'm i'm really grateful that i was able to show up for myself um and do that today a bit of anxiety came up towards the end i think i Every time I start thinking too much, my brain is like, oh, how do we keep you thinking? Let's let's think about things that are stressful or worrisome. And I reminded myself that I didn't have to think about those things now. I didn't have to stress about those things now. So I'm glad that I was able to recenter a bit. And, you know, I was thinking about some issues I had with some people from my last job and thinking about how I could have said or done things better when I was deciding to leave. And I started to feel a bit like guilty and feeling like, well, maybe I should reach out to them. Maybe I should say something and like apologize. But then there was another part of me that was like, do I just want to apologize because I want to be liked? Like, is this coming from a place of my previous people pleaser tendencies? Like, I want everybody to be good with me. I want us to all be okay. Is it coming up from my control issues and wanting everything to be resolved, neat and tidy? And so I'm not sure if I'm going to reach out, but I am debating where these thoughts are coming from. And I don't think I used to question these things before. So I'm glad. I've got Rochelle here now because I also wanted to just talk about our aerial yoga experience. It was so nice. Honestly, I feel like it was a bit like being on the playground, just seeing us and other adults have fun in like this childlike way. It definitely, I feel like, connected me with my inner child. It reminded me of all the time that I spent on the monkey bars and hanging upside down because we did quite a few upside down poses. 
Um, so yeah, I would say overall it it felt playful and fun. It it didn't feel as yogi -y, like, but I I feel like it was yogic in its own way. In that like it was a lot of fun. It was still really relaxing, especially at the end when we could just like hang in the cocoon at, for like this shavasana type of situation. But like just being supported by the hammock slash canopy I, I felt like that was really nice and it feels nice to be like held in that way and supported in that way so it definitely made me wish that i had that set up at home because i would be swinging around all the time we definitely need something like that at home it was nice for my neck too but um it's just nice to have movement freedom as an adult because there's not playgrounds for adults or it's weirdly looked weird upon but it's nice to have moved in freedom and I feel like everybody really does deserve that there's not a lot of chances that people get to move around and, and just for fun because you're looked at strange but it was a small class even so it made it even more comfortable it was really nice to swing with my neck mm -hmm. and kind of have a, a it was it was nice to have a weightless feeling on my upper body because that's not normal like I could have some I'm flying some relief off of my upper neck, um, lower neck and upper body. It's always so tight. What, what did you think of the class tonight? It was really nice and relaxing. It was interesting to do yoga so slow and basically just kind of like lay in different positions. <laughs> but it was really nice. I liked it. It was also pretty good for noticing um, just what hurts and what's going on in my body. It's still my upper body and lower neck and all that. Like, so it was nice to at least just lay and not feel too much tension. Very low, um, like adrenaline, just lots of calm vibes, which was really nice. It's just nice cause it's quieter and it was really relaxing with the music. And even with there being quite a few amount of people, I found it to be really quiet, which is like a, pretty impressive for like a group of like 15 people either way I feel like we've been having a lot of fun exploring our body and minds and it's been nice to do a few classes together she's gonna take her first few classes alone this week so I think that's gonna be really exciting to see what she gains from that and what I continue to gain from my classes going forward this week but um now I'm waiting on my bread to rise, and I think I'm going to put it in the fridge to continue to poof. I'm going to take a shower, going to make dinner. Um, I'm making kimchi jjigae, so y'all will see some of that. And yeah, for now, I'll see y'all in a bit. <laughs> All right, this is my hair fresh out the shower. No product. Um, I wanted to see how it dried and stuff, so when I cut it, It'll be very dry. Shijige, we've got our Korean style pot. I got some tuna in there because I don't have like sardines or anchovies to cook in sesame oil. Um, I've got the tofu. I've got the kimchi. I've got the gochujang. The gochujang's in there too. It's just on the side. I'm gonna put some salt in there too. And then this kimchi is like a month old, so that's kind of how I prefer the flavor wise when I make kimchi jjigae. <clears throat> now, sometimes I've added pork belly, and that's really good too. So you can kind of customize it however you want, but the base really is like kimchi, sesame oil, fish sauce, salt, and then I add gochujang and tofu, but. You know, you can add whatever you want inside. Here's the fish sauce. Hi, biggest fan. You heard fish and you came over? I just wait yeah. for this to sizzle up. Oh, I need the garlic. Can you get the garlic? Uh, look at my daughter. And then I just filled this kimchi Done. jar with water. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm going to add as the soup base. And then probably some plain water too. Alexa. Here's what my hair looks like dry before I cut it. The front is like really frizzy 
and fluffy, so. But I didn't put any product in my hair because I wanted to see how it grow naturally. So when I cut it, it's not too crazy of a difference when I like wash it again and do it. I didn't want it to like, I cut it weird while it was still wet and then it not look even. Also, I finished making the soup. I've got some lime on the side just because I like the limes, but. Yeah. I, I added rice. Oh. All right. My hair is looking the best that it can for the moment. It's really crazy what your hair be looking like without product in it. Just a frizzy mess, but. My hair requires a lot of moisture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was at this first session. So let's go to the dock. Yeah. I'll show y'all how to bait the hooks. Okay. And then we'll come back and get on the boat while y'all has multiple so hair. Yes. <laughs> I still can't yeah. believe that okay. Giselle asked her. She I'm about to cut these little braids off. Oh, Lighthouse bonding, spending time with one another. That's great. But I'm not going to lie, you know, I'm like, this trip is getting old and tired. Oh my god. Do you sit and look at each other? Yeah. I think we might need a pageant off with actually a dance. Are you ready to test number two? My braids. My grown out bleached hair. I like it so far. Um, I'm gonna figure out how I want to style it because also I still have to cut this part. From what I watched, they want me to do something like a wolf cut to get that look that I'm going for. I just wet my hair again because also everybody was cutting their hair wet. And I feel like usually I do, but for some reason this time I was like, no, who needs it? I'm really bad that I accidentally cut off that big chunk. More hair came out when I was... This is really a trust the process situation. Quick cut, go. I gotta be scared, you know. All right. My cute little pearls. I'll miss you. Bye. 
I don't know if I want to insert that picture in this video. But let's just say there was another time that things went horribly wrong with my hair. I mean, y'all see that? Like, oh, I'm sorry, did you say something? I couldn't hear you. Wait, come again? What? Say that in my good ear. I'm just playing. But so far, as y'all can tell, I'm liking it. Something about a haircut just makes you so confident. <laughs> The last time I gave myself a bad haircut, I got another cut. So, if me avoiding the undercut leads to the undercut, it just means I was meant to have it, right? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I, I started cutting again. Cause like, I, like I said, there was a time where I wanted the Hime haircut anyway. It's kind of what a mullet gives me. All right, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I'm gonna show y'all this what it looks like. And then I pull back the bang and boing boing. Same with this side. All right. I think this is where I'm gonna end the vlog for tonight. So, bye. Look at this. All right, I'm gonna get my girlfriend's reaction. Rochelle. Hi. Hi, howdy. You you ready for the surprise? I can already see it. Ooh, very cute. Ooh, very cute.